<laughs> Here from behind, I have a check flag. It's coming, and it's coming now. Up the inside he goes. The rookie, Brad Binder. <laughs> All right, so I've got something for you. Look at that. We're landing. <laughs> So right now, this is what I see. <laughs> so we have landed, if that was not clear. So that was an awesome experience, a great way to get the weekend started. And now we're headed to a fencing hall to meet up with a Red Bull local athlete for a lesson or two. So yeah, let's see if I can actually manage to <laughs> to learn anything. Came to see a local boy. Hello, I'm the local boy. My name is Alex Chupinesh. I'm a professional fencer. I'm doing foil. I'm from Bruno and uh, we're gonna have some fun today. Where is your reaction time now? Hey, hey, yes! So this is the target. This is heavy. Good, perfect. <laughs> How do you feel? Oh, okay. You look very nice. Thank you. <laughs> I think this is the best I've looked so far. So this is the foil. It's called foil. Okay. Ready? Fast. <laughs> Don't think, just touch, yes! <laughs> so how was it? It was good, but there's a lot to take in <laughs> to do justice to the sport. Yes. Which is not easy. Yes, I think with everything you do in your life, you have to you have to do it 100% and it takes some time. So yeah, I think I'll need a couple more lessons before yeah. I actually venture into it. And then when I come to Madrid and we make competition. <laughs> you said it, it's on camera. Yes, but he, he can cut it. He can cut it. <laughs> <laughs> to the hotel to set up a challenge to the Red Bull KTM Tech 3 boys and let's see how they do. Hi Miguel, how's it going? Hi. So are you, are you what alone? Are doing? What are you doing? Is he get over there? Hi. Hello. <laughs> so the first challenge, you're gonna have to draw the map, the layout of Brno by memory. Boys, you guys look super concentrated. What? <laughs> I would go like this and like this, and then this is straight, but it doesn't connect the track, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's not connecting. Miguel is redesigning the layout for Bruno. Okay, so whoever gets the closest to the actual design of the layout uh, will get two points. Thank you, two points, really? Yeah, 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 two points, Miguel, wow. don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I thought to 25, but two points, okay. Okay, Miguel, it's looking pretty good. I'll have what is he going to say? It's new track for 22-22. Yeah, it kind of looks like a, like a high-heeled shoe. Um, he good. Okay, so it's clear Miguel wins this first one. So Miguel, you have two points. And now for the second challenge, you're going to have a series of questions, of trivia questions. Do you know the length of the track? The one of you that gets the closest to the actual number will get one point. Okay, let's see. Correct, you're both correct. So you both get each one point. So you need to give me the number of corners and you need to detail how many right and how many left. They just designed it so they should know. Okay, let's see what Iker says. You are correct, Iker. Okay, correct. So Miguel, you have four points. Iker, you have two. Okay? And what is the length of the longest straight? Okay, Iker seems to be ready. Okay. 
Miguel? Okay, no, uh, Iker is the one that has the closest because the actual length is 636. Ooh, yes. Yeah. Iker, Iker is coming back, so Miguel has four points and Iker has three. Don't worry, don't worry, you have a few more questions, Iker. You can still come back. What year did Bruno host its first ever GP event? Actually, Iker is the one closest because the actual year is 1930. Boys, this is the tiebreaker. What is the average top speed at Brno? So Miguel takes the win because it's actually 316 for the top speed. Miguel is the winner of the Brno challenge. Miguel Oliveira does eventually make quite light work of Fabio Quattrara. This is a humbling experience. Hey guys, here is Philip Salah. I'm in Czech Republic in Brno on my home Grand Prix. Hey. Hey, mate. How are you? Yeah, good to you. Fine. I'm going to pick up new new ladder for tomorrow. For tomorrow? Yes, please. Sir. Thanks, mate. Yes. See you later. See you later. See you later. Good luck. Thanks. So, I just picked up my ladder. And now we are going for my new home Grand Prix helmet. So, let's see how it will be. Look at this. Look at the glittering color on this sun. It will be amazing. Yeah, it looks so nice. And then, here from behind, I have a check flag. Here you can see that I have prepared my things already. My rabbit gloves with my own design. Red Bull cap, you know. And then I have here the Red Bull bottle to put the Red Bull in. Yeah. So guys, I'm ready to go into the practice. You can see in the ladder already, my face mask. Yeah, let's do this. It's been a very unusual qualifying session and we will see Jean Zarco start from pole position. And the man has a point to prove because he is trying to secure his future. And this should shape up to be a very interesting race. Lights out here in MotoGP. What a start from Alicia Spargo. Brad Binder, is he trying to hang it around the outside? He is, of his teammate. Here he comes again, Brad Binder up the inside. <laughs> Brad Binder feels like he's back in Moto3 right now. It's a family affair in the top six here in Brno. No, there's no brotherly love lost there, is there? No. Is Binder going to attack now on the brakes into turn number three? He, he is. is, you know, he's going he for is. it up the inside of the world. Chad McKinley, Binder. he's done it. Brad Binder in his third MotoGP Grand Prix goes into second place. Well, it's two KTMs on the podium right now. Fabio's in trouble. Do you know more? Oh, oh, well, wide. well, 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 cool and collected. Oh, oh, he's he's down. gone down! He's gone down! It was just too much to ask. Pip Myra and the team can't believe it. You but can... it's coming, and it's coming now. Up the inside he goes. The rookie, Brad Binder, on the Red Bull KTM, leads a Grand Prix here in Brno. Let that sink in. What a hero Brad Binder has been for KTM. We have witnessed a golden moment in Grand Prix history, folks, in Brno. You beauty, a blazing victory for Binder. A new star is born, but you have never seen anything like it in your life. KTM have a new king. Brad Binder, the first South African to win in MotoGP. This race was intense. There's so much to talk about. We're gonna try to wrap this up. Let's start off with Jean Zarco. He had to do that amazing, incredible, like out of this world long lap. He's gotta try and stay behind that line though. Has he done it? Oh, it's close, isn't it? I mean, full marks for his effort. So let's talk about the cherry on top, Brad Bender. Okay, where to begin with him? He's a rookie. He's only had three races so far, and he's already winning a race. First ever South African MotoGP race winner. First ever KTM win. This is going down in history. Let's not forget that Brad Bender is a rookie, and he's only had so far three Grand Prix weekends. And on his third weekend, he's 
taken a win. Only Mar Marquez has been able to do that back in the day in his first year in the MotoGP class back in 2013. And that's Marc Marquez. And it's safe to say this is not the last time we'll see Brett Binder at the top of the podium. Given how unpredictable this season is, I actually dare you to leave in the comments below your prediction for the podium finishers for Austria next weekend. And if you do have it right, then we'll give you a shout out on the next vlog. And don't forget to subscribe to the Rebel Motorsport YouTube channel so you don't miss the next episode of Inside Pass. See you next time.